Hey guys, how the frigs are going today? I got this crazy jerry curl thing going on. I want to cut my hair tonight after uh, I get back from dinner if my buddy ever calls me to see if we're going out to uh, Agarecos. The snowplow came by. This is the third time today the snowplow came up my street. As you can blatantly see, there's no reason to have a snowplow come up at the street. So I don't know what the fuck City North Bay is doing. Just pissing away taxpayer dollars. Any hoozle, another day where I'm not sure what to do with myself. We're gonna go to this uh, dinner with my buddy, hang out with him for a bit, and then uh, see what uh, he has on his agenda because he says he has some business opportunities and stuff. So I wanna see what's really going on. That and dinner. Dinner is good. It's been a while since I've had Greco's. That's something we used to order all the time at the office was Greco's. That's what we used to get. Uh, the uh, the pizza, the uh, family deluxe with black olives and the Friday bread. But um, let's see what uh, what we get tonight. I'll bring you guys along too and show you the dinner and shit. And probably gonna come back here and dick around in the garage maybe, or I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what we're gonna do today. Could be another short vlog. I had nothing planned. Tomorrow we're going to my parents' house, so that'll be all right. Fix Dad's computer and, uh, and get a new monitor to replace this fucking thing. I just got it and I already hate it. It's all right, like don't get me wrong, it's a good monitor, it's just the resolution so massive. Like everything's so big on that screen and it's ridiculous. So dad's got that 23 inch and it's apparently lighter than this 18 inch, which is ridiculous too. So, and it's not an Acer, so it'll last longer than two years before getting a cap blowout. So we'll hang that one up there and I'll just take this 18 inch and put it aside for emergency backup and go from there. That'd be that plan. So I got my phone working again, right? You saw that on a previous vlog. Basically when it breaks, what you gotta do is you gotta rock the power button back and forth and hopefully it unseizes and then you're good to go. So that's what I do and it works. So I get a call today from the from this company based out of Tirana. No idea how they got my number. I never signed up for nothing. No idea what the hell's going on. They call me. Hello, is this Mr. Guy Rock? And I'm like, sure, what's going on? And they're like, uh, hello, uh, we recently uh, been informed that you are looking to purchase a car. And I said, that's funny, I'm looking to get my car fixed, not purchased, but okay, what's really going on? Well, we want to offer you a loan. And I'm like, oh, okay, so what's your interest rate? Right, I go right to that. Because you know what? If you need something, you're going to go look to get it, right? If you want to buy a car, you're going to go to the bank and get a loan. You're not going to have some magical entity call you up and say, Hi, we want to give you money, unless there's a fucking catch. These cocksuckers wanted to finance a car up to $15,000 over 84 months. Did I say $5,000? I meant $15,000. I can't remember what I said. I'm having a problem today. So that's seven years at $15,000, right? So I'm like, okay, well, let's play around. Like, What's your fucking interest rate? And they're like, well, our interest rate would be, well, don't worry about that, sir. Uh, basically, what it would cost you is over the next uh, 84 months, it would cost you, if you bought a car for $15,000, it would cost you $110 bi-weekly. And I was like, I'm like, but for seven years. And they're like, yeah. So I did the math. It's 23% interest when I did the math. Because if it's monthly now come and keep in mind some months you end up paying three times if it's bi-weekly but if it's bi-monthly which i believe is what they told me by yeah it was bi-monthly they told me on the first and the 15th so never mind what i just said so it's bi-monthly so it ends up being 220 dollars a month for a fifteen thousand dollar car over seven years the g6 is a 2005 it lasted 11 years so far it needs some work but as far as the powertrain goes, she's still holding on strong. Knock on fake wood. I gotta be careful when I do that because the dog's sitting right outside the door and he hears knock and he thinks somebody's at the door. He just starts fucking barking. I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay. I'm like, now you want 23% interest on this. They're like, yeah. And I'm like, credit cards aren't even that high. And they're like, well, good luck getting a $15,000 credit card. I said, well, first off, I wouldn't buy a card. Uh, I wouldn't buy a car with a credit card. Second off, I wouldn't buy a car through a company that just randomly called me up one day and somehow got my information and thought I needed a new car. And they're like, sir, you don't need to get hostile. And I'm like, well, no. I'm like, honestly, think about it this way. If you need something, you're going to go get it yourself, right? If you're looking for a car loan or a mortgage or uh, any sort of loan to consolidate your debts, you're not going to receive a magical phone call one day and it's going to be awesome. 
you're going to go to the bank, you're going to go to a financial advisor, you're going to do whatever you got to do to find someone to help you out to fix this fucking problem you have. When people are calling you to offer you money and the interest rate's super high, they're not looking out for your best interest. They're looking to fuck you over to give you a couple, uh, basically to give you a loan. And what really got me was when they said that the interest rate's not fixed, so they couldn't actually tell me the interest rate. Like right now the interest rate's 23%. But, you know, a year down the road, something goes wrong with Prime, and all of a sudden it's 55%. You can't afford to make payments, they repo the car, and now you're left with fuck all. If you go to the bank, you can get a fixed rate loan, obviously not for seven years, but at least you know your interest rate, you'll be end up paying the same, 120 bucks bi-weekly, instead of, you know, $110 now, or 120 bucks now, but in the future, it could become 150, 160, 200 dollars bi-weekly. See, these assholes with money don't give a shit about you. All they care about is making money, and that's my biggest problem with money. That's all people want. Let's see if we can make more money, and who cares who we fuck over? These companies don't give a shit about us. All they want is our cash. So why the fuck? I, I played with the person. I said, well, honestly, I'm not looking for a new car. I said all I need to do is put a couple bucks into my car, and it'll be fixed. And they're like, yeah, but just think about, and then they start with the, think about having a new car with no needing uh, for mechanical work. Uh, do you like to travel? They go right there. And I'm like, well, yeah, who doesn't like to travel? Fuck, it's fun. And they're like, well, just think about having a car where you don't have to worry about, is it going to make the trip? And I was like, dude, I never worry about that. I said, my car is half baked and I did the trip to London last year expecting to die and I made it out alive. And the guy laughs. He's like, how can you have an attitude like that? How can you feel good about taking money away from hardworking people at a super shitty interest rate? I'm like, fuck cars. You go to a car dealership and they'll give you like, the worst interest rate I've seen at a car dealership was when Adrian and I went and tested out that uh, van out in uh, fucking uh, Maclang and it was 13% interest. That was the worst interest rate I've ever seen from a dealer. And these cock smokers are fucking above and beyond that. And they're like, well, you know, and I told them that. I said, you know, like a car dealership, I thought 12% was bad from them. Now you guys are doing 23%. And they're like, well, unlike a car dealership, uh, they'll only do 12% over five years. We'll do it over seven, so it lightens the amount you pay. So for a $15,000 loan, it ends up being like a 20, what did I calculate? One second. Okay, so I just checked it out here. And for a $15,000 loan, it ends up coming out to being eighteen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. So they're making three. I probably got my numbers wrong. I might have got my numbers wrong. But eighteen thousand dollars for a twenty-three percent increase on that loan. It's almost as bad as those Shylocks at my car when I bought the Grand, uh, the G6. You know, the car was ten nine nine five. Once they put all like the uh, transportation and all the different taxes and the government taxes on it, it was a thirteen k. And then they tagged all of the interest that the loan had onto the principal. So I literally had a loan for 20 grand. So once, uh, even if I were to pay it off in the full six months term, or six months, fuck, six year term, or if I paid it off in two months, I ended up paying them all the interest. And it turns out, like I asked this company, I'm like, is that how you guys do it? You just tag all the interest on the principal? Uh, sir, no, no, nobody does that. No, nobody. I'm like, it's been done. I said, so, is that 15 grand? That's all I'm allowed to spend. And they're like, yeah. And I said, okay. I said, now, does that include uh, freight taxes and all the other shit? And they said, well, basically what you do is you go to your car company, that you're inter like go to the, the, the dealer that has the car you want, and tell them you can only pay 15 grand get them to contact us and here's a good and I'm like no no don't give me any information I'm not doing this I'm just fucking with you now because this is a Shylock operation because if you're calling me to offer me a service that I don't need then obviously you just need business so you're targeting people and then I asked them how the fuck they got my number oh sir we're not at liberty to disclose that information I'm like bullshit that's my fucking number I never gave it to you guys who the hell gave you my information? Well, sir, I'm sorry we can't do business today. Uh, we're we're going to have to go ahead and terminate this call. It seems you're getting hostile. And I'm like, of course I'm getting fucking hostile. You guys got information on me. I want to know how it got leaked out so I know how to fucking deal with this. Sorry, sir. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for choosing. I'm like, I didn't choose shit. And they just hung up. And I'm like, are you fucking for real right now?
Somebody, either that or they seen my vlogs, put two and two together, did some doxing, figured out who I was, got my number from someone, I don't fucking know. All I know is, is they're trying to offer me a car loan at 23 fucking percent. If I'm going to buy a car, I'm not buying it through them. I'd go through the bank to get a loan before I did anything. Cause fuck that shit. Well, I've come to the conclusion that Mike either forgot or something came up because... He never called at 6 o'clock. I'm getting fucking hungry. So I'm going to make something to eat. I'm just going to make some macaroni because that's what I made that big pot for. Good thing I made it too because uh, looks like business plans are not happening, which I'm fine with. So I talked to Dad and he's already contacted. Uh, he has a suggested person I talked to about getting the uh, work done after um, I get my buyout. So that's a bonus contacted HR and that payment set the show up on the 16th bonus so once I get the buyout work is officially done oh, poor kid then See, this auto feeder doesn't fucking work so she has to practically rifle her head right into the freaking container and stupid's probably out of food too yup so you stupid some food stupid that is food I'm probably gonna have something to eat and then uh, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight guys are talking about playing video games or I don't know we'll see still go heading out to the garage and cleaning off my workbench that'd be a good idea get that sorted all out it's just been a lazy day today because I was expecting to go out tonight and that got kiboshed just watch kid behind the camera's condom prank my buddy Dylan was in this one that was kind of funny except when he started talking like pug that was kind of fucked but whatever it is what it is it is what it is Oh, I hate when I burp, but I vomit at the same time. It's pretty gross. Anyway, I'm gonna let Stoop it out, and then we're gonna head out to the garage and see about cleaning off that bench. Yay, the brighteners worked! Yay, brighteners! Okay, I'm gonna fire up the heater, because it is a little nipply in here. And we'll go from there. So crank that, press and hold that. And that ignites the flame. That did ignite the flame, right? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, look at that! Oh yeah! Okay. How are we doing for fuel level here? Could never tell with that gauge. Never could tell. Alright, we'll let that burn and uh... My main conflict is this fucking mess. Like, there's nowhere to do any work. Got shit everywhere, so. I'm gonna start putting tools away, cleaning this up. I'm gonna have music playing in the background so I can't really have the camera going because, well, you know how YouTube is. So, I'll give you guys updates as I go. <coughs> oh. So, one of the things that bothers me about mini biking is I never can carry my dart with me because I always fall down and I'd probably break it if it was in my pocket. Then I found this. It's an old bag for my Panasonic camcorder. The one that I'm actually filming with right now. It came with a bag, right? You put your SD cards and shit in it. Like as you see inside, there's like padding and different things and stuff. So like I was thinking I could mount this to the mini bike. Now it originally came with a shoulder strap that was attached to yaw and yaw, but I took that off. And what I was thinking about doing was either using elastic bands or mechanics wire or something and like plopping it here-ish and then running mechanics wire through here and wrapping it around the triple tree and then slinging it up top to hold it in place doing that on both sides and then I'd have a pouch here to put like you know granola bar or my dart or whatever in spare batteries for the GoPro whatever it may be you know I'd have that extra shit so I think I might do that but not yet, we'll wait till we get the actual bike fixed and put a new engine on it. But that's one of the ideas I have, so I'm gonna just chuck that up there for now. And we'll deal with it later. But I've been cleaning off the desk here, the desk, the bench, whatever. Gotta get this shit out of here, I was trying to use it to straighten the scabbard on my katana, didn't work with the shit. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna carry on with cleaning up. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's an air pump. Yeah. What do you go to? I just seen 20 pounds, that's all you do? Oh no, no, you do a lot more than 20 pounds. 
Apparently you can do up to 280. Ooh, you're pretty. Fuck did you come from? I wonder if you still work. Alright, I got the bench cleaned off and I put the engine onto it. I'm gonna look at uh, maybe seeing if we can free this fucker up. So it's key weight. I can see the key there. Uh, I'm gonna try the pulley puller. Alrighty, I got her on there. It's basically hooked on the back like so. It's fucking not moving. Now I just gotta crank on that. Hope the Christ falls off. Let's try a tripod shot. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this. It's moving. And now we're twisting the shaft. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Okay, let's try the old fashioned. Yeah, that works. It's coming off. Or it's breaking, one of the two. This is the best thing that Dad ever gave me. This pulley puller. So far I've used it twice. <clears throat> Done. Noise. There, freed it up. Gotta love technology. Just like the Say No WD-40 or uh, whatever was used to free up this pulley, this is all just fucking muscle in a puller. Yeah, boy. Anyway, guys, I'm pretty much done out here. I did what I wanted to do. I pulled the pulley, cleaned up the bench. Well, I just got shit up here for the mini bike for the rebuild. I don't want to really move anything because then I'll forget where I put it, and that would suck. But I'm pretty much done. So I'm going to head her inside. We're supposed to be gaming in a couple hours. So, uh... That's going to be awesome on our quest to make more money for tanks and go from there. So on that note, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. And until next time, keep on vlogging.